What's going on everyone? It's Bales and welcome back to another video on the channel. UFC 286 is only a couple of days away so you know what time it is. It's time for us to go through our predictions for the main card coming up. Headlined by Leon Edwards and Kamara Usman, the trilogy fight. It's going to be very interesting to see how that goes and the other ones on the main card. So let's get stuck into it. The one fight that I do want to just touch base before we get into the main card is I'm really looking forward to seeing what Muhammad Makayev is going to do against uh, I think it's Hafal Filio, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, interested to see how he goes at flyweight. If he can win this fight, he said he wants to be the youngest champion in UFC history. So if he can win this and do what his plan is set out to do, then he'll be on track. So it be very interesting to see how he goes. But we do have five cars, and I'm, I'm looking forward to all these five. They've got implications in each of their weight division. But before we get into it, as usual, if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Plenty of support coming on the channel the last week or so. We shot up to nearly 750 subscribers, only 250 away from that thousand. So if you can click subscribe, help me reach, achieve that goal, that would be very much appreciated. So let's get stuck into the main card. So the first fight is between Marvin Vittori and Roman Delize. So in terms of the odds here, you've got Marvin Vittori at $1.34 and Roman Delize $3.27, which I think is quite lopsided because I think this fight's going to be a lot closer than what those odds suggest. So firstly, Marvin Vittori, he's 18 wins, 6 losses and a draw. He's been obviously a little bit so sort of win-loss, win-loss in his last four. So he beat Kevin Holland, then he lost to Israel Adesanya for the second time. Then he beat Paulo Costa and then lost to Robert Whittaker. So he's been pretty up and down. And then if you move to... Roman Delize, he's won his last four in a row, beating um, Loriano Staropoli, Cole Diakas, Phil Hawes, and Jack Hermanson. So Jack Hermanson, obviously the bigger one there. Can he do it against Mum Vittori? Like 12 and 1, his record, he's got a good record, only one loss to Trevon Giles. So I personally, what wanting to see this middleweight division move past these sort of top five guys because they're sort of just up the top then they haven't and they've been there for a while and especially with Israel Adesanya being all of them if Alex Pereira beats Israel Adesanya next month in that trilogy fight then that opens the door up for a Vittori if he, if he was to get a win here but yeah I sort of hope Delize gets the job done here and I actually think he will get the job done I think he I just I just like it I just fancy he getting his getting his um getting his hand raised on the weekend. It is going to be a um, very close fight, and as you can see, the odds, $1.34 to three twenty seven is very close, but I do think that Delize can get the job done, so I'm going to back him in to beat Vittori there. Moving to the fourth fight, we've got Jennifer Meyer versus Casey O'Neill. So Casey O'Neill, the favourite there, $1.56, and Jennifer Meyer at $2.43. So Casey O'Neill, obviously uh, significant knee injury. She's missed a fair bit of time. But she was 9-0 before uh, having a long layoff, beating Roxanne Modafferi in her last fight. And then um, Antonina Shevchenko is actually the fight beforehand. So, yeah, she's looked dominant in a lot of her fights. So even if they've been decisions, she's been dominant. But she has got a fair few stoppages. So it'll be interesting to see how she goes against Jennifer Meyer, who has fought some of the best in the division. So she beat uh, Maria Mary. Marina Moroz, I'm apologies for getting that name wrong. Uh, she beat her, but then she lost to Manon um, Fioro, um, the French fighter. Again, I probably butchered that name. Uh, and then she lost to Caitlin Chikagin, beat Jessica I, and then she lost to Valentina Shevchenko. So she's been really up and down her last sort of six or seven fights. So I think Casey O'Neill will get the job done here. She's She has shown, I think, more dominance against her opponents. Again, Jennifer Myers probably fought the better opponents, but I just think Casey O'Neill will be too much for Jennifer Mai in this fight. But it will be a big test for Casey O'Neill. This is definitely her biggest test of her career. So it'll be interesting to see how she goes. But I do think she can get the job done in this one. Moving on to the third fight. And Gunnar Nelson versus Brian Barberine. It was meant to be Daniel Rodriguez and Gunnar Nelson. But I prefer this fight. Gunnar Nelson, Brian Barberine. This is going to be absolute barn burner, this one. The odds for this one. So you've got Gunnar Nelson is actually the underdog. Sorry, the favourite, sorry, dollar twenty-four. Brian Barberina, four dollars ten. So it's quite lopsided as well. Again, Gunnar Nelson has fought the better guys. His only three losses in sort of his last like six or seven fights were to Santiago Ponzinibbio, Leon Edwards, and Gilbert Burns. So two of those three, especially, are those real top-end guys in the division. And then you've got Brian Barberina. He had the, obviously that big win against Robbie Lawler. 
last, middle of last year in July, but then he did lose to RDA in December. So uh, it would have been if he imagine if he beaten RDA, that would have been a lot better for him. But I do think Gunnar Nelson will win this fight. He is a quite a tricky fighter to get a read of. He's obviously fantastic on the ground. Brian Barber needs to make this a war to really make this a 50-50. But if Gunnar Nelson could take it to the ground, I think that he will get the job done. So I'm going to be backing Gunnar Nelson in there. And moving on to the two fights I'm really keen for. So you've got Justin Gaethje and Raphael Fiziev. So you've got Justin Gaethje is actually the underdog. $2.88 to Raphael Fiziev, $1.42. But when you look at Gaethje, his only two losses were to Khabib and Charles. There is only two losses... He's beaten everyone else. He had, obviously, good wins against Michael Chandler in that war. He beat, obviously, Tony Ferguson in that war as well. He beat Ned Savarboza, Cowboy Cerrone, James Vick. So he's had some really good wins, and he's come up against a guy that's really surging in the division in Rafael Fiziev. So he's beaten Renato Moicano, Bobby Green, Brad Riddell, and RDA in his last four fights. So... He's got some impressive wins along his belt. And the thing is, no one finishes RDA the way he did. And he was able to do it uh, really at the start of the fifth round. And very, very impressive. So that I think that's why he is um, the favorite. But Gaethje, man, you can't ever count him out in a fight. He's always in wars. And again, this is just going to be a bumper. They're, they are quite similar. I think Fiziev is a little bit less reckless of what Gaethje is. But that could potentially play into Gaethje's hands in this fight if if you can get it in a war. So it will be very, very interesting. Oh, it is such a tough fight to pick this one. I think I'm I'm only leaning towards Justin Cagey because of, probably because I've seen him fight more, to be honest, and just, I know because he's been up there more, but I would not be surprised if Fiziev gets the win here. I think Fiziev's fantastic. I think he's amazing, and I think he's going to be a real problem for those guys in the top end of the lightweight division. So... I'm just going to back Gaethje in. I guess probably because he's the underdog. Probably that's probably why I'm backing him in. But it's it's such a hard fight to call. So I'm really interested to see who wins. If Gaethje wins this, he's sort of back right up there in amongst those guys looking for a title shot. If Fiziev wins, then he's got a pretty good case to say that where's my title shot as well. Or if not, like maybe, maybe a Dustin Poirier for Fiziev would be next. That would be a good fight uh, to get there. And then the main event. Leon Edwards and Kamara Usman. So the odds for this is $1.40 for Usman. He's the favorite and $3 for Leon Edwards. So we all we all know the history with these two. So the first fight, Kamara Usman won a decision, um, pretty much controlled the majority of that fight. And and yeah, and he, and he got the win. Leon Rocky The second fight, it was sort of heading that way. Leon had the first round, took Kamara down to the ground. And then Kamaru from rounds two onwards just pretty much dominated most of the fight. Leon did say after round one, he just, he was trying to do things, but his body just wasn't responding to what he wanted to do. And he said that that might've had something to do with the high altitude in Denver, because we know that's obviously at a high altitude than a lot of other places, especially in the US. So is that a factor? And then obviously you had in round five, Kamara Usman getting caught with that massive head kick by Leon Edwards. <laughs> Bang. Oh, it was one of the great comeback victories that in UFC history, and he he proved to everyone, as he said, everyone said he couldn't do it. The old doubted me said I couldn't do it. The old said I couldn't do it. Look at me now. After four really, really bad luck years for him, so it was great to see him win there. And I, I love both these fighters. Well. I think they're fantastic. That's why this is so hard to predict. Is it going to be? Because we've seen fighters get get KO'd and then they come back and then they're not the same but we've also seen them come back and then just sort of go business as usual so. Kamaru the Nigerian nightmare as usual. so based on this way the second fight going you probably think Kamaru's going to win but he did get finished Leon finished him does he have more confidence in front of a home crown in England so it is such a hard fight to predict. I'm, I'm going to back Kamara Usman just because on the basis of he was controlling the fight before he got caught with a shot. But this is a lot closer, I think, than a dollar forty to three dollars. I think this is a lot more a dollar seventy-five to two twenty or, or something like that. I don't think it should be that that far um, divided in the in the odds. So yeah, very very interesting. But I'm going to be going Kamara Usman. So. They're my picks for UFC 286. I can't wait for this card. Let me know who you guys think are going to, is going to win at UFC 286. Is Leon going to get the job done once again and cement 
the trilogy in his favour, or is it going to be Kamara Usman that cements the trilogy in his favour and get the win? Let me know in the comments below. Is Gaethje going to beat Fazir? Was Fazir going to get the job done over Gaethje? Let me know what you think about those fights and all the other fights on the main card. Or just any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Like the video if you did enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn notifications on so you don't miss when I go live or upload any other content in the future. And also follow all my social media links in the description below. So I'll catch you guys in a few days for the UFC 286 recap video with all the results from the main card and we'll have plenty to discuss, I'm sure. So until then, I'll catch you guys then. I'm out. Cheers.